you need a spark plug or you need a, a new coil, uh, it's it's Honda or Mitsubishi. It's it's all it's all there. Starter, starter, go and buy a starter. You know, it's it's all the same. So uh, maintenance, you're not going to be locked into buying like parts from one vendor. You're not going to, you know, if you buy some of the very low produced aircraft engines, you pretty much every part is made by that manufacturer, and you're going to buy parts from them. <clears throat> um, in fact, even with them, trust me, the, there's all, and that's to their benefit, not a negative thing. <clears throat> the people that are making the low volume uh, light sport aircraft engines uh, are also using tremendous amount of automotive parts. Okay, they might they might cast their own case, but there's automotive pistons, there's automotive valves, there's motorcycle rings, there's the, everything inside there is all from some automotive mass produced thing. So don't don't <laughs> the only ben the only thing here is that. You take that and you put it in a casting that was also made for that. So it's not a mixed match of parts. But no, you can buy parts everywhere. It's 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 not expensive and, and it's in, it's you know you can get them from most any vendor. Of course, uh, even us, we, you know, we need a, a coil. We're going to buy it from Honda. You know, we're not going to buy it at at a Discount Auto and not knowing where it came from. So now, as far as like major overhaul or or um, time between overhaul, um, I'm going to go out on the limb here and, and, and tell you that there's no such thing. Okay, there's no TBO. Time between overhaul was a made up term by the FAA to govern Part 135 operators that were flying people around. Okay, the only time you had time between overhaul on anything in the US uh, is because they had to govern somehow that you had good engines in your Beach Baron or uh, whatever you were flying people around with. So time between overhaul doesn't apply to any of these engines. Now, if you take that and say, well, you know, I kind of would like to just know how long it's going to last. And I can tell you that that is, that makes no sense. You know, it's like you buy a motorcycle. It's going to, it's going to last 40 years for the one guy and it's going to last 40 minutes for the other guy. You know, it's, it's all determined based on the maintenance, how you operate the thing. If you ever overheat it, if you didn't overheat it, uh, you know, if you put it in something that requires 100% power all the time, or you need, you know, 55% to stay in the air, and so it, it's completely up to you. All I can tell you is, uh, you're gonna have a good chance with Honda. You're gonna have a good chance with Mitsubishi. Uh, as far as the parts that we add, like a gearbox, it's a simple thing. It's uh, aluminum housing with some gears and bearings. Okay, so if you have to take that apart after you know 2000 hours and put new bearings and seals and it's not a big deal you know it's it, and none of it is expensive the whole engine block uh, there is no overhaul you just go and buy another one from Honda you know it's it's twenty five hundred dollars or if you wanted to rebuild your own um, and even that is not going to happen you know if you buy an engine a Viking 130 today and you keep it for 15 years You'd be lucky if you, if, I mean, that'd be such an antique in 15 years. Things, things change ridiculously fast right now. We, we see that in five years, pretty much every five years, uh, auto manufacturer will start over again with another improved car, new model, new facelift, new engine, all that. It's completely different. You probably will never want that same engine in 15 years as what it is today. So you can, even though it's not a throwaway engine, the practicality in the world that we live in uh, will probably show that by the time you wear it out, it is for nothing. You know, it's it's just you're gonna you're gonna buy a new one from Viking or someone like us um, for a very little money again, and it'll be twice as good. Or you're gonna be flying on electric, one or the other. <laughs> well, <that's coming. laughs>